Milo, I think everybody uh, agrees that what we've just seen is something very intriguing. Um, a movie, a feature movie, a play maybe in the making, a documentary, a social pamphlet. You tell me. Uh, what have we just seen? Yeah, I mean, uh, the most... Uh, um Adequate would be perhaps be to tell a story about how we made it and how it came to be what it is. Of course, it's a bit my way of conceiving film and, and, and theater, perhaps for the first answer to mm -hmm. go to a place, to take a myth, to try to to see what it makes sense and then to do what I call a utopic documentary, mm -hmm. that you would kind of document the things that you started. Then to do parallelly a campaign, because I always think it should be sustainable what we do. We can't only make a film about Jesus, it should also be what would Jesus do today. Mm -hmm. and that's why our protagonist is not an actor, but an activist mm -hmm. from, from Cameroon, Ivan Sanier. Mm -hmm. And we are in Matera, so mm -hmm. the city where Pasolini and Mike Gibson made their films, why I invited these uh, actors um, to also take part. It was the cultural capital of Europe. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I had the idea to in, invite also the, the, the city to take part of it, what we see. And of course there is this social political situation around ironically the cultural capital of europe which is slavery yeah uh, modern day slavery yeah. it's like uh, migrants uh, refugees that are being exploited yeah, yeah in, in, in the in heart the most, of europe in the most yeah in, in the peripheries of europe i think it's it's quite interesting yeah okay to it's see uh, it's the south of italy the south of italy where you have uh, not so much political structures not so much uh, civil society structure so where you are a bit kind of in between the rule of mafia and and uh, an absent state and 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 people trying to make uh, to bring back the law somehow mm -hmm. what jesus says in the beginning it's not about breaking the law it's about installing it finally yeah but, but hang on a second so did you set off to go to matera with the idea of making a film about a modern day Jesus or did it just occur while you were there and you saw what was happening you witnessed uh, the suffering of the people and the campaign the social campaign that already had been started by uh, your main character the black Jesus how how uh, did it work um, it was like that, that it was 2017 that uh, I was invited to do that they came to, to Ghent and said Milo you have to do a project for us we are 2019 we are capital of culture I went there in 2000 um, beginning of 2018 I already invited Maya Morgenstern because I worked with her on Empire some years before mm -hmm. and uh, Enrique Rasocchi who I know who was Jesus in the film of, of Pasolini and Marcello Fonte uh, who I know from Dogville, mm -hmm. a beautiful film he made. Um, and, uh, and, and then I, I exactly I found the situation, how it is there, and uh, I decided to make it differently. I, mm -hmm. I, I But Jesus was on your mind already? Yeah, that was the first idea, okay. because Matera, I was there 20 years ago, and Matera was for me completely linked to Pasolini, a film I adapted for the stage. Uh, and in, Mel Gibson as well. And Mel Gibson yeah. was in my mind too, because yeah. Maya was working with him. And uh, I, I knew when you go there, you have to do a Jesus film. That's mm -hmm. a bit the, the kind of the, 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 the idea to go to Matera. But uh -huh. when I found it, I, I, of course, decided that it has to be differently. And then um, I decided to to make it in, in, in that way how we did it. I met uh, Ivan Sanier and some other activists. We decided to create what is called the, uh, this campaign, Revolta de la Dignita, to create mm -hmm. it. And we took a year to Like a revolt for dignity. For That's dignity, it. yeah. And we, we took a year to connect around 40 um, different campaigns, different groups of people, because the problem in the South is, as everywhere, where it's a bit kind of a, a gray situation that... Um, there's paranoia, there's a kind of a mafia rule through dividing people. Mm -hmm. Well, these people have I no documents, so they it's, have it's no obvious documents. that they're afraid and it's difficult to and get them They're a lot divided through a kind of, uh, yeah, of this mafia, you could call it my mafia identity politics, that they want to bring the white with the black, the women with the men, the Muslims with the Christians, the mm -hmm. people from Nigeria, from, from Cameroon and so on. So they're all in different groups. 
and yeah, uh, like, uh, ghettos, if you will, kind of yeah. different ghettos. Yes, so you have the Nigerian ghetto, you have the and so on. And uh, so and, yeah, you uh, had to go and visit all of them to bring get them, them onto the project. Yeah, mm. and also the the <coughs> let's say the, uh, the 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 Italian farm workers, the foreign farm workers, and and it this was really a a, a very different task, and we took mm -hmm. around a year to build this slowly up. And that's where uh, where the film starts. At the moment when the campaign was going on a bit, but then it went faster than we expected because the military service decided to close one of the camps, one of and the biggest camps. And relocate and or just put people in the streets. Just in the street. And yeah, it would be good if they would relocate them. So mm -hmm. what we did during the night, when we knew that the camp would be closed, we came with a lot of, of, of cars and vans took the people in and relocated them in another building. And then mm. slowly we started to work together also with the, with the Catholic Church, what mm -hmm. you see in the very mm -hmm. end, and with, with a group of, uh, of advocates to build what we, what we call the, the Houses of Dignity, Casa della Dignità. Now we have around 100 people located there to, to break a bit this circle, because you have the mm -hmm. problem in all European uh, uh, politics of... of, of of criminalizing people that if you don't have a domicile where to live, you can't have papers to work. If you don't have papers to work, you can't have an address. Yeah. And to break it, you mm -hmm. need to locate people, mm -hmm. give them pay. And, and this was a, a, a very, very difficult mm -hmm. process. We mm -hmm. were very happy that in the end the Catholic Church joined us and uh, now it's going on, of course. And they joined you because not because you were making a movie about Jesus, because your uh, Jesus movie, if we can call it like that, is not a movie about religion. Um, it's about something that surpasses the idea of religion. I think that uh, in, in moments of crisis, what I found in the south of Italy with the Catholic Church, uh, in moments of crisis, they come back to the, to the book. So let's say 80% of the people investing their money, their time, etc., was from the Protestant or the Catholic oh, wow. Church. So yeah. all these sea life people, etc., there are a lot of them coming from the, from the, from the churches, from a, from a kind of a liberation, Marxistic, mm -hmm, perhaps, interpretation mm -hmm. of, the, of the book. And this was, I, I mean, I'm, I'm very leftist too, so I had a lot of prejudice against the church. I mean, for me, it was kind of the same like pedophilia, the same like the institution that they raised so many cultures in the mm -hmm. global south. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I could, I could convert this idea. And of course, we have at the moment with Francis, Pope Francis, we have a, a good moment, a bit the same moment that, she, uh, that, that Pasolini had when he did his mm -hmm. Jesus film. Because he also worked with local people. He worked with yeah. local people, he worked with the church, he worked with the Vatican like we did, because he had also at that moment a pope that mm -hmm. was kind of trying to do a reform mm -hmm. that ended with his death, as we know. Yeah. Well. And Pope Francis is doing, doing the same. For example, he created a, a migration uh, department inside the Vatican that very closely worked together with us. Mm -hmm. uh, then we did, the, it, which is not in the film, we did the resurrection of, of Jesus in Rome, in the National <laughs> Theatre, together with many representatives of but the But this is one of the interesting things also, <laughs> apart from all the other stuff that we already talked about, but is that you managed to get uh, everyone on board. I mean, there's uh, the refugees you work with, we just talked about them, but there's the, the, the mayor of Matera, he, uh, he volunteers to, to carry the cross, the cross, Jesus cross for a little while. <laughs> for a bit, uh, onto yeah. the, yes, onto the Very Doloroso, yeah. yeah. But uh, also the other actors, some who play with uh, Pasolini, um, Mel Gibson, there's uh, people from the community, so everyone's involved. Do you create more empathy that way? Do, do you, after leaving Matera, did you find that people have more sympathy for each other, understand each other's um, situation better? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of much more pragmatic, I could say. Um, I think what you have to build is, is, is really structures. So you have to give structures because carrying a bit for political reasons the cross, I think every politician would do it. He's really from the left. He was already in the Pasolini film, by the way. I don't even know if you mentioned that in the film. So I he don't was, think so. Well, he's don't so remember. old. He was already 35. <laughs> when he so he knows when to show his face. <laughs> he uh, knows very well yeah. when to show his face. 
Um, um, but I mean, it, 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 it stays symbolical if you don't really invest in creating like these houses of mm. dignity, giving mm. really the mm. papers to the people, investing really in advocacy, in real advocacy, mm. not only, I think image politics is very important mm -hmm. too, a black Jesus, stuff like that, women like, like, like apostles, Muslims like apostles to open the image of, of the book, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's very important that we really invest in what we did and what is... Uh, when we when we start uh, as an example, when we started the film in Germany and Austria last December already, when the the film release was, we we didn't go to Netflix or to Amazon. We said from the beginning on we went to have our own uh, site, our own portal that we did together with hundred closed cinemas, mm -hmm. because I think that the distribution of a film has to reflect the message of yeah. the film. Yeah, but is it going to be free of charge? No, 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 but the money that is charged goes to the cinema. Okay, yeah. Goes not to us, goes not to yeah. the, goes not to the, to goes to the Netflix. Projects. Goes to the cinemas. Yeah. Goes to the cinemas, to cinemas. that are closed yeah. and will disappear. And On does some of the time, money go to uh, the, the project? At the same time, that's, uh, that's mm -hmm. a very good question. At the same time, um, the, the tomatoes that are produced from the people located in the Houses of Dignity with papers now go to 50 uh, different uh, shops. In Germany, so the distributing the, the no also cap the, brand or the is no it cap the, brand. Yeah. There are some other brands mm -hmm. too. It, actually, there are I think three or four brands. So we distribute also the tomatoes, and we are <laughs> kind of making. You could say that the film is a campaign for a sustainable way of agriculture in south of Italy. Yeah, uh, th that's Be why I, I said at the beginning. What is it? Is it is it a movie? Is it a, a pamphlet? Is it a campaign? Uh, it's all in one. If you yeah, will. it's all in one, and it's very beautiful. That what the, what I found found out perhaps uh, thanks to the lockdown too you know the as we all know the capitalism global capitalism is a very immoral system but immorality has also a good side that you can change it if you say we only buy sustainable tomatoes fair traded tomatoes capitalism will say ah okay i will only sell fair traded tomatoes you mm -hmm, know mm -hmm. so it's all in our hands and i think this is one of course of a message that is not aesthetic but you need i think this kind of of campaign, this kind of methodology mm -hmm. to say what would Jesus do today and not yeah. what, what would I do or what would Ivan Sanier do. What would he fight for today? What but there's would he fight many for? things I can imagine Jesus uh, to have on his plate. So, sorry? A lot of stuff that Jesus will have to deal with if he looks all over the world, not only the, the migrant workers in, uh, in the south of Italy. Absolutely, absolutely. I think, I mean, one, one uh, theologist or theologue, I don't know the, the English word, told me when he saw the film that it was for him an exactly a perfect Jesus film. Why? Mm -hmm. Because at the moment when the, the, the real passion story in the film starts, the, let's say the last 40 minutes, because before you have the casting, you have the campaign, you have a lot of things, but when it really starts, it's really realized, its message. You know from every phase why he would be in. And I think in every phase mm -hmm. where you would land this story or Jesus would go to, it would be a different story with uh, uh, different fights and different faces mm -hmm. and different people in it. So I think that's what the Bible says. So when four or five people uh, are standing together, I'm in the midst of you. <laughs> that's what we try to say. It's about yeah. the message. It's not about all this, 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 uh, this, the spiritual stories around it. Mm -hmm. Would you, I mean, it's a, an interesting um, intertwining of art and, and activism in a way. Would you agree? Or is it still art? Um, I, 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 I always had an understanding perhaps of art or perhaps also of activism that is, of course, intertwining anyway, these two two sides of, I don't know, of social fantasy, you could call mm -hmm. it. Because for me, why is the, is the Bible still read? Why is there still meaning in it? Because of a lot of people connects it to their own fights, to their private spirituality, to what is really happening. It's somehow. the power of a story also. It's the power of a story and it's also a fact, I think, that all our institutions, our language we are, we are talking about, how that we understand each other when we are talking about what Jesus is, what is, mm -hmm. because we share all this fantasy and we build everything we do and we talk and we would take as a, as a future project on these stories. Mm -hmm. So for me, what an, uh, an activist or uh, an artist is doing is taking this story and giving it to the hands of others, giving it meaning again. Because I think the biggest problem of the Bible is that it was so long in the hands of an institution, the church. The church is the problem, never the Bible was the problem. Because the Bible describes the, the fight of, of Jesus and the group of kind of 
economical losers of, mm -hmm. of their age mm -hmm. against the big, the big empire of that time. And, uh, and it's a beautiful story, including all failure, all contradictions, all, you know, mm -hmm. all pro character, uh, problems of the character of Jesus that we also see in our films as problems of the, of the, of the, of the, of the character of our Jesus mm -hmm. and his disciples. Yeah, but this is what you see, exactly what you just said, that uh, every single person you work with on the, on the film, on the project, they know the story. You didn't have to explain them uh, who Jesus was. Um, yeah, you, I mean, uh, somehow, of course, you have, but you find it out together. Uh, mm -hmm. Because I was not the biggest reader of the Bible either. And reading that book, I was really impressed that this book is on the basis of our... Middle East European culture because mm -hmm. it's really the book about the loser that fails mm -hmm. and is killed in the worst way you could be killed in the Roman Empire who is denied, who is betrayed by his own people, who is a crazy man, yeah. you know, sometimes too, so too soft, sometimes very narcissistic. Mm -hmm. And we show all this and I think everybody can can understand it but the important thing is not that he would understand the Bible because understanding the Bible means realizing mm -hmm. the message of the Bible mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. book it might be and it's very a very uh, very universal message of mm -hmm. course very open message yeah it's a very um, transparent movie also I mean in a very literal way uh, you show us or you you and your team show us how it's been made you know we get the uh, uh, scenes from you doing the casting with uh, with the actors people actors and not actors going <laughs> to be actors <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, but also the the funny thing that happens is that you see uh, actors in historical costumes, and then a car coming by, same scene. Uh, out come the the Roman uh, uh, soldiers to arrest <laughs> to arrest Jesus, who is in his historical uh, costume. So you get these weird scenes. But and these are the policemen that just closed the camp. Uh, that, some yeah, weeks just before. closed the, the, the I mean, actual policemen who closed yeah. the camp. So what does it do to people? Do 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 you talk to people afterwards? Is there like some afterthought moment? I mean, this is only uh, uh, the, the product for me is n much less important that the, than the production process, you mm -hmm. could say. I'm interested in distribution and in production. And the, the premiere of the film, I remember when we had at Venice Festival the, the, first, uh, the first public viewing, mm -hmm. we invited everybody, we brought them with buses to <laughs> Venice. We were alone because people were yeah, not really allowed, allowed to, to come. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was also strange in a way. Uh, and Jesus, Ivan Sanier, was saying, you know, This is just you call him Jesus, that's funny. I call yeah. him even on my phone when he calls me every day. Jesus, I said, Jesus is calling, I have to, I have to stop. <laughs> um, and uh, he was saying, you know, this is like two hours in our fight, but it started 20 years ago and it will go until the end of, of our lives. And that's it. Mm. And that's how we, every day I'm in contact with not everybody, but with three, four, five people of this project mm -hmm. because we are going on we are building more houses of dignity we are distributing more tomatoes in more countries we are you know we are making spin-offs of the film we are and so on and so on so this is a for me this this film i love this film and we worked extremely hard mm -hmm. on it you mm -hmm. know with so many people but this is only a, a, a point in the fight somehow. yeah yeah and is a, a movie for you the best way to to dis distribute the idea the the problem the message To get it across, um, it's my way as I am a, a director. Um, yeah, but you're also a, a theater director. I'm also a theater director, so there are shows that you can uh, that you can do as, as as plays, and there are shows that, for example, these activists you can't make a tour of them. It's complete uh, nonsense. It's mm -hmm. much stronger to, like the Congo tribe, want to make it on the ground to mm -hmm. really show directly the antagonisms and the fight yeah you have there. a broader audience as well and you have a much yeah. broader audience for example with this way of distributing it online by bringing the money to, to these hundred cinemas we had with this film in Germany Switzerland Austria we had more visitors than with all my films together before mm -hmm. so this is really it brings it it brings it everywhere and um And the impact that uh, Jesus, he was twice on the, on the cover of the New York Times. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody mm -hmm. knows our Jesus, Ivan Sanye now, knows yeah. his fight. Yeah. And of course, his, his kind of no-cap uh, thing and all uh, the Casa Sankara and all this. this Casa this, Sankara this is a social housing. Is a social yeah. housing. Where does Sankara come from? Just for people who... 
Sankara was a revolutionary in in uh, in, in Africa, in, uh, mm. and and he was of course killed. He's a bit. You could, he's called the Che Guevara of of, of yeah. Africa. So it's it's a it's a guy that uh, is very important, like Nelson Mandela, like 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 one of the real freedom and and independent fighters. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, killed very very fast, yeah. like Lumumba. A bit the same, a, a similar story, also uh, with a sad side. And um, um, the Casa Sankara, for example, is the first camp that is made, occupied, and made and legalized by the by the immigrants themselves to mm -hmm. not be dependent from this absurd system, you know, mm -hmm. that on the one side is very compassionate and the other side never gives you the papers. Uh, compassionate because you, they can work? No, they can't work. I mean, they can't work yeah, on, on the black on market, the, yeah, of course, but the they can work on the black market, but they, can, uh, they, they don't get papers compassionate in a way that would give them water, they would relocate them again and again and yeah, again. Yeah, they would relocate them to wherever their labor is needed. Where the black market needs them, yeah. because police is working together with mafias, working with together with the it's a, It's a system, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And we understood, you, we have to, like in Jesus' times, mm -hmm. we have to break this imperial mm -hmm. system. Europe is also colonized, because we are always taking Europe is colonizing uh, the rest of the world, it's true, but Europe is colonizing itself too. Yeah. And I mean, if you look at this circle of the European agriculture, so immigrants are coming here to produce <laughs> tomatoes that are so cheap that they are exported to their own countries, destroy the agriculture there, and people flee here to... That's absurd. I mean, we have yeah. to break this circle yeah. immediately. We yeah. all together, we have it really in our hands as the consumers. Yeah. And that's what we try to tell by creating this... To bring this, and it's difficult to bring this, mm -hmm. this, the things in the in the, in the supermarkets, mm -hmm. of course, because what the managers are saying. You just one example. Mm -hmm. I talked to, uh, to to one of the managers, and he said, "Milo, that's a beautiful project. That's a beautiful product. But the problem is, if we bring this product, we would say that the whole rest is criminal." And I said, "Yeah, that's true. This is the problem, you know." Mm. <laughs> but there's, I mean, it's obvious that you actually you stumbled onto this story by accident. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we can say that. Yeah, I was invited. Yeah, and, uh, you were invited, and then, and then, and then uh, what you see yeah. is so it's almost unbelievable. Uh, but you, what triggered it with you? What got you? What exactly was the feeling you had when you witnessed the social injustice? Um, I was not 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 long before I was uh, doing a film in in in, in, in Congo, mm -hmm. and it's a. Uh, it's a horrible and sad situation in East Congo, but when you are there in the camps and you have these people that can't go back, that are in the hands of the mafia, that can't go on because of the Dublin treaties, that are really slaves, you mm -hmm. know? They are citizens of no mm -hmm. country anymore. They have no... It's the, it's the purest definition of, of what a slave is. Yeah. And um, I was... Um, I was... Uh, I was there in these camps, it was in December, uh, January 2017, 18, only for a week or two weeks, mm -hmm. and I was completely exhausted afterwards. Uh, from all the uh, yeah, impressions you had yeah, the, walking the cold, around seeing the impress it. Uh, the, 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 of course the impressions, but the cold, the aggressions, the super high criminality, the, the complete loss of any human perspective or human human surrounding that you would find there. You co can't go anywhere, you can die. You can work or you can die, and that's it. And you, you are trying that the, perhaps this on the right and the left solidarity is not existing anymore because you have to survive. And seeing this, this kind of degree zero of, of humanity uh, was for me a huge shock. And of course I was immediately thinking if in these surroundings I would do a Mel Gibson like Jesus, and what was first my, mm -hmm. my plan to be honest. Mm -hmm. A uh, mix of Pasolini, but the kind of still aesthetical. I mean, the film of Pasolini is a, is a beautiful film, but mm -hmm. it's an aesthetical film. Mm -hmm. uh, was completely impossible. It would have been against the meaning of the of the of the subject, you know. Yeah. And um, and then I was starting to to connect, and I'm so happy that I could connect with with uh, Ivan because Ivan is is the figure. If you are not with Ivan, then you you don't have to do the Jesus film mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. And he accepted, of course, telling me that uh, he's not an actor and acting is not enough. And I immediately, of course, agreed about it. Yeah, him. that's not how I work. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 
and yeah. uh, and I was happy enough that he was joining the project, mm -hmm. and then slowly more people was joining. But this was a very long and was it a difficult diffi process? I mean, very to convince because it seems like if you. Uh, Watch the movie. It seems like everybody goes like, "Yeah, sure, I'll work no, with no, you." No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. It's uh, it's a bit. I mean, you can't show that. It's a no, year of of, of uh, convincing people, of finding a, a common ground. Sometimes of people that would never work together because economically for uh, Italian farm workers and African f to work together with African farm workers is there's a suicidal part in in solidarity. Always mm. you have always. I mean, you know that you have the identity politics that says. Everybody who's Nigerian is man, blah, 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 will work together. Everybody who is, I don't know, this or that, mm -hmm. Romanian farm workers would. Mm -hmm. And they have their, 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 their parties. But of course, a, a, a solidarity or a leftist thing is that they have all the same problems. Yeah, it's one people. And it's, we're one people. It's one so people on one, on, one, on one level. And there are, of course, uh, a lot of little disputes that go on in the, in the, in the context of such a project. But... We could, we succeeded somehow, thanks to Ivan, thanks to, to, to many other leaders and, and, and sub-leaders and mm -hmm. intellectuals mm -hmm. and politicians and just people uh, to, to bring them together and to create some structures that, that are growing, growing, growing uh, while we are talking. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I think that, I mean, that's, 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 that's the reason why, he, why it worked, because in the end of the day, the situation is so... Per, uh, Uh, without any uh, perspective mm -hmm. for, for everybody, mm -hmm. that of course they understood somehow that the time for the revolution has come. Yeah. Because at one point it's, it's unbearable, you know. Mm. And, And the revolution uh, is still being fought because it's not over. No, no, it's not, it's not mm -hmm. over. I mean, the, I mean the, 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 the strange thing is, but many things are happening now. So they, 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 they step to, a, I mean, it's now in the parliament to the regularization of, I think, 200,000 of the of these of this, uh, illegalized, you could say illegal, because illegal is a term that is illegal in itself. Yeah. It's not existing as a legal mm -hmm. term. Illegal, it's not existing, you know? No, you can't no. be. So But a lot of them are fluent in Italian already because they've been there for so long. I guess it's like, you know, they feel uh, a bit Italian already. They speak much better Italian yeah. than I ever will speak, you know? It's uh, okay, but it's, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, And you know, the, the south of Italy is empty. There's nobody is living there anymore. You yeah, and they do the hand-picking of the tomatoes because maybe the Italians no longer want to do it. Yeah, and the Italians forgot that, I mean, the parents of these Italians I worked together were in the 80s standing on the side of the street waiting that the mafia would go with the van and they jump in for $20, mm -hmm. you know, or mm -hmm. 20 uh, euros. Mm -hmm. and, um, um, but they forgot. Yeah. So uh, it's, uh, you said you invited uh, the whole uh, crew to uh, to Venice to see the screening, or a lot of them, right? Yeah. Uh, what was their reaction seeing the the finished uh, movie? I mean, uh, of course, every, it, it's a moment of of pure happiness, friendship, solidarity. On the other hand, if you're working with uh, also with myself, when you would do a film and I have only uh, a scene of 20 seconds. I would watch myself and see, uh, am yeah, I, well, you know, am, goes, I, yeah. am, I, am I good in the scene, etc. So I think that was uh, in, the <laughs> first, <laughs> in the first time, of course, that was uh, even with Ivan. But of course, mm -hmm. with Ivan and some others, I made some projections in Rome before. And when we were, had a new edit, we were uh, watching with the apostles and some people that were really involved. Mm -hmm. uh, so he had seen discuss. himself before. He but, knew uh, it, yeah. <laughs> and then you can have the whole picture and you can yeah. also understand what you say, that the, also the, the film is full of making off of little mm -hmm. failures, of a kind of a constant self-critique of the process itself. Yeah, in a way, it's funny. Yeah, and it's also, yeah. It's also <laughs> funny yeah. that, for example, you see Ivan doing mistakes as, as an actor, you see him doing mistakes as an activist, yeah. you see him being betrayed by his own people that are still working with him together. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, as you said, transparent yeah, yeah. film. Yeah. And um, I think this is important. And that's why I'm at not so many, but some moments I'm also in as a kind of a, a funny loser. Mm -hmm. And on the other side... Is that how you see yourself? In that movie, a, a funny loser. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, or that I, I mean, what am I doing in in, in, mm. a, in a project like this? I'm trying to give to everybody the the, the feeling 
that everything goes well, that we will succeed. That I mean, actually, what, what Ivan does in his activist way, what somehow everybody does, the cameraman does it, everybody does it. Mm -hmm. But as the director, you have really to try to give confidence to everybody, to, let's say, to destroy failure all the time. But of course, you have many moments when you are the loser, the funny mm -hmm. loser, mm -hmm. when it doesn't work, when yeah. you kind of, it goes out okay. of your hands. Yeah. And that's the... For me, that's the interesting moment mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because in a way, it's maybe funny to, to put it that way, but it, it is a feel-good movie. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, it's it, also... It has a happy ending. I mean, people saw it, so we can say that. There's yeah. no spoiler <laughs> alert here, but it is a happy ending. Or, it, well... You know, the big question in every Jesus movie is the question of the resurrection. Mm. If you are atheist, as I am, um, and we, we made beautiful resurrection in the Vatican and everything, but then I cut it out and I said, what would the happy end, the resurrection be? And of course, for us, it's the Casa della Dignità is constructed, the yeah. no cap is distributed, etc. So you see it's going on. Mm -hmm. They are even making jokes. I don't know if you saw that scene when Jesus says to his apostles that they are all fucking not uh, Christian or Yeah, 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 that they're or, praying. Or yeah, Muslims. Yeah. <laughs> and he says to them, but now since one and a half year we are doing a Jesus film and you are still not converted, what did <laughs> yes, I do yes, wrong? Yes, yes, it's, it's very funny. <laughs> yeah. So that's why it, the humor is important as well. Yeah. But I think it, it did make me think at... Uh, uh, about your Ten Commandments that you actually, the manifesto, the Ghent manifesto that yeah. you uh, released, uh, if you will, when you uh, became the director of NT Ghent. Uh, a lot of the, the, well, maybe all ten of the, of the points are in this project so. as yeah. well. Yeah, 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 all points are in. It's a bit more simple with a movie. It's more simple with a movie? Yeah, I mean, for example, in this, uh, one point, uh, the most simple uh. distribution point. Mm -hmm. I mean, going to more than three countries <coughs> with a movie, of course, no problem. <coughs> Having uh, a lot of different mix, languages no because problem. you can have subtitles and no problem. You it's can have them in theater as well. No, no, no problem. Having non-professionals that because the problem of non-professionals is that they normally can tour because they have a job mm -hmm. or they are I don't know located mm -hmm. somewhere. Mm -hmm. They are not professionals, and this is, I mean, if you film it, you can, you can film it. And, of course, there are things happening, and, of course, this is always the dream of, of everybody who does a performance that can only happen one time, that can only, I don't know, they're somehow real, because mm -hmm. it happens once. So once we enter to the city of Matera, once we destroy the supermarket, once there's the crucifixion, and that's it, mm -hmm. and there's the meaning, because it's once. Mm -hmm. And, it's a and you were there itself. to film it. So, yeah, yeah, and um, and, um, and and of course that's that's very simple. I mean, simple. Mm -hmm. I mean, we worked for years on that mm -hmm. film, but mm -hmm. it's it's somehow different than in the play. Where in the play, you have to think, okay, we have to repeat it uh, two hundred times. Before so how we do get we it do right, yeah, before, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, but just every evening, you yeah, know, yeah, again course, and again and again, and again and again and again. So you have to have a kind of tension that goes from A to Z. In a film, you can try out and say, okay, we don't know, perhaps we use that scene. And mm -hmm. often the little failures are later used. Mm -hmm. In theatre, you would do a line. I, I like both, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But w would you say uh, the new gospel is uh, a next step in your creative uh, uh, development? Or is it it's a logical step? Or is it, are you on to another level now? Because, I, I mean, you, you also want to change things. That's, I think, the first uh, commandment in the fa manifesto. Yeah, the first, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So that, that you're not there just to maybe move something, but also to change something. Um, I think what the one, one, one problem, and I think we are overcoming it, is that on the, on the leftist side, uh, as, as artists and activists, we blocked ourselves a bit by a, by a I think, wrong idea of, of purity, mm -hmm. that our acts have to be morally pure. And to uh, go inside uh, a society that is ruled by the mafia, that is completely paranoid, and to try to create through a myth of failure, which is for me the myth of the Bible, solidarity and the reform and the new system of distributing art and needs, that's really what I, what I think what we succeeded to do 
on a on a on a on a for us new level mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. the first time. That's the impression I had also yeah. uh, looking at the movie. Because I felt like yes, now I understand what you're what you're trying to say all these years. I mean, sorry that I didn't get it earlier, but this no, no, movie it's fine. really, it's fine. I mean, it's it's uh, fine. It's also for me the first time clear. that I I could include. I mean, that you can kind of balance my need to. F Failure as an artist, you have, I mean, actually, you have a big need of failure as an artist or of reality or realness. So, how you so like Samuel Beckett, who said, Fail, uh, fail if you again. fail again, uh, fail better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. try again and fail, <laughs> fail yeah, better. Huh? Yeah. And on the other hand, of course, you have a kind of an ethical command to say, The people involved, they don't want to fail, they want to win, you know. And how do you bring winning and failing? And then you have this myth of the Bible. Where is the description of winning or transcendence through failure, mm. if you want? Mm. You know, destruction becomes resurrection. Mm. And um, and I think this is the what in this film worked very well because we had this blueprint, we had this campaign, we had this, and it it. It came perfectly together, and I think in the mind of everybody involved in that project, you had this kind of two-sided uh, attempt mm -hmm. to, on the one hand, I don't know, to be saved yourself, to make, I mean, even in Ivan Sanier, and I think it's very honest from him, you feel his attempt to narcissism in the film. You feel the attempt of... Of course, he's, yeah, he's only human, I would say. He's, he's, he's only human, like, like Strange Jesus is in the book. Because, I mean, if you are this Mary from Bethany scene, when he got the oil in the hair, and then Judah <laughs> says, but come on, guys, we, get, we will sell it, and we give the money to the poor. And he says, yeah. but there's only one Jesus, there's many <laughs> poor, so let it give to me. And you think, oh my God, this is in the Bible? Yeah. It's so human, you know? Mm. And, um, and I think to <laughs> bring to... I mean, we have to be moral. We have to try to have perfect relations. We have to be to be perfect humans, as in the in the five uh, destructions from Lars von Trier this said. Mm -hmm. But on the other side, we have also to accept our impurity that we somehow only can overcome by 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 solidarity, by making a better system that we are better by the possibilities we mm -hmm. have, by the relations that are established. Because there's one scene, and for me, it's. Uh, most important scene, and perhaps you can a uh, second talk about it. I yeah, don't know. This, maybe. Uh, Just go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, this casting scene, of course, where the the one oh, guy. Oh, I is, know what you're going to say. Is this torturing is a, the chair? Yeah. Whoa, that's a that's a heavy scene. That's a heavy scene, a heavy and scene. actually, when you ask yourself, yeah, people saw it. Like you feel like he's really into it. He's ju he's he's torturing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but who who is into it there? Why does he has the attempt? How does he? From where does he have all these words and that he knows exactly what he has to play, that he will be taken in my film, yeah. you know? That's a structural racism. So he really knows. If you ask it no, now, uh, I don't know, make jokes about, about uh, witches. Mm -hmm. And then you would like think about, oh, witches, witches, okay, they ride with the devil. Uh, let's, let's. But if I would say, okay, now make me a scene, a racist scene, you would immediately know what you mm -hmm. have to do, you know? And and that's a structural violence that he has a, a, a direct connection to it. And it was scary. Really, I, I must say, it's scary, scary what comes out of yeah. him, what is there. Because he says, "I'm a good Catholic. I'm a Christian, and I just want to experience what it is to be angry and to hate yeah. someone." But here you see exactly about what we are doing, what we are talking, what we are trying to do, because we try to be good, and what we are, mm -hmm. and not because we are it, I or you but because the system is like this. If you have 500,000 people without papers, used like animals, it's a racist system. Mm -hmm. They are animals. They are treated like animals. That's, they are perceived like animals. They are described like animals. You know? I mean, you have re we have all to become a bit Marxists mm -hmm. to understand that we have to st mm -hmm. <laughs> change the structure and not only the way we are talking about yeah. it. Does it make you uh, feel a better person? Doing what you're doing? Um, I think this is one point of... Um, I mean, what, let's say in general, what I feel in this project that every... I mean, as I said before, that everybody has this attempt to be a better person, but you wouldn't know how. If you don't have a family, and for example, I have daughters, and I try to have a good relation and to, to kind of raise them in a good way, or in the theater to have a human relations, it's not always 
uh, possible because there's stress and hectic and, and uh, but to create something that you would say what we did um, was kind of, of 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 good in a way that these people that were in that project have now, for example, papers, or that, for example, have now, I don't know, better working Italian conditions, uh, or yeah. have better uh, working conditions, and even as Italian citizens, they can now they can fly back, they can go to another country, they are free to do what they want, you know. Perhaps they wouldn't even agree on this, but on the other hand. Um, while doing it, you will, and that's the problem of the big number and of a, of, a, of, a, of a process of change. Of course, you will, not everybody, but you will partly disappoint everybody and yourself. You are always in a compromise. You are always, you know, they, perhaps they don't want to have to papers, perhaps they don't want to have something else, perhaps they want to have it faster yeah, because they're all individuals I, I, I said before, we're one people but at the same time every single person uh, who's part of the one people is an individual absolutely, yeah. and they are full, full of fears, they are full of, of I mean, again uh, the Bible shows it, a little social group, revolutionary group under the pressure of empire betrays, denies, is mm. full of peers, full of mm. paranoia. And of course we show all that. And I think this, this, this idea of, of, of us coming, I'm coming from the petty bourgeoisie, so I'm, I'm really raised in the idea that everybody should be happy all the time. And that's, that's, the, that's the meaning of art, mm. that we look at it and we do it and we are even more happy. Yeah. And we are safer we and we are beauty purer. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. and I think to overcome this dangerous and very bourgeois way of perceiving uh, human relations mm. is, 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 is one point that is sometimes very hard because you are raised in that, I think everybody, every culture is raised in, you would only in the very last moment you would make a revolution. Because you, you can watch in the most incredible things and mm -hmm. people would not revolt mm -hmm. because of a kind of a politeness or it's difficult. Overthinking maybe? Or yeah, yeah, overthinking or, or saying, okay, I'm not dead. The other one is dead, so perhaps it's, I, I can, I can, I can mm -hmm. go for. And, um, and this is, I mean, if you try to be a good person, of course, all this is a big problem. Because to be a good person, I think you have to do, you have really to do Chekhov in the black box in mm -hmm. Amsterdam. <laughs> Then you are a good person because there's no, no danger of bringing the antagonisms of our real life inside, yeah. you know. But when you go there where people and animals and cultures are slaughtered, mm. then you are not, it's impossible to be good mm. anymore. Somehow, you yeah. know. Even Jesus is not good. You know, you see in the book... His, again, uh, his narcissism, his way of, of stepping over the emotions of the others. There's mm -hmm. one other scene that's incredible in the Bible where somebody is at, he is burying his father because he died. And Jesus said, yeah, let the, let, let the dead be dead. Come with me. Because it's more, more important. Mm -hmm. The other one says, are you crazy? And mm -hmm. he says, no, you come with me or you're my, my enemy. You know? And that's, that's, uh, it's very archaic sometimes. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I hope that we could portray these, these, these little problems uh, we have and had and will always have mm -hmm. uh, in the film too. <laughs> well, I think that's a good way to conclude uh, <laughs> our talk. I mean, we can go on for uh, forever talking about what's in the movie. But thank you very much, Milo. Thank Rao. you. It was a pleasure.